tell you one thing. In Albania, we have a tradition. If you have something strong and serious to say, you have to sit like This is our tradition. So all your body on the ground. Because when you do that, you tell people that all you say, it's all you really believe. And you do only the things you really believe. I have been coming here at the Berlin gathering since I was very young, a kid. But I see that something is missing. I see politicians who preach, but I don't see examples who speak. If we want to really change things in this world, we need to bring up examples. I heard two debates yesterday, very important debates. The debate between members of German parliament at the opening session and the debate between the two signers of the independence declaration of the United States of America, the brothers of and the same generation of uh, George Washington and Abraham Lincoln, Donald Trump and uh, Joe Biden. So they come from those times, same generation. And what I heard was very interesting because yesterday I saw two members of parliament fighting against one another about whose room is bigger, the SPD or CDU. And then they were fighting about the sausage, who would get the sausage. Now I will come at the point. I come from Albania. This is his culture. But it's more important to say something vivid than just NGOing things. So it's better to enjoy real things than NGOing things. Believe me. The point is that I represent a small country. And Albania and Kosovo are as small as the two rooms together of SPD and CDU. Two countries will bring big problems. But what I see is that fear here in Europe is about greater Albania or greater Serbia. They fear these problems from Balkans, but they never, never touch the point. Because we fear long-term leaders in Balkans. Not Greater Albania or Greater Serbia. We fear people who misuse this blessed be the peacemakers. It's becoming more blessed be the stabilizers. It's becoming blessed be the stabilocrats. And this is wrong. I see all around the most corrupt people of Balkans. You know why Putin attacked Ukraine, because he was a long-term leader. That's the point. So, I know that when people speak the truth, they might not get invaded <laughs> next year. <laughs> but uh, all this truth has it short. But I want to say it. If we really want to do something, we need to change from preaching to exampling. That's all. Thank you.